The 2001 Wimbledon Championships was one of the most memorable in modern times. Rain had disrupted play throughout the fortnight and the delays had caused the men's final to be played on what became known as People's Monday. The final was contested by two of the game's most popular players. The Croatian Goran Ivanisevic, a three-time runner-up at Wimbledon, now ranked 125th in the world, only made it into the main draw thanks to a wild card granted by the All England club. Australia's Pat Rafter was appearing in his second consecutive Wimbledon final, having lost to Pete Sampras 12 months earlier. The first two sets were shared, and we join the action in the third. Rafter is about to serve at 2-3. Your commentators are Pat Cash, John Barrett and John Lloyd. Thank you. Got to take advantage of those ones. 15 love. Second serve right onto the forehand. Goran's got to take them. Now he really has to assert his authority on those second serves that he gets. <laughs> That's, a, That's why you have to take the ones when they come. 15 love. Yeah, he made a good return there. Could have brought him to 30 love. I love 30. Even then, against a rafter serve and volley game, love 40 is not a certainty. Oh. So well. It's a shoulder height backhand. Well, that pick up from Raft, that's why he's so tough to beat. He's all over the net. He knows Goran likes going to cross court on the forehand. The set, the set up shot. He kept his uh, position. But the, the passing shot was too good. And Goran gives him two break points. And I just talked about Goran going cross court in the forehand all the time. I guess he had the same shot to get the double break against Rafter in the fifth set. Yeah. Oh, Can you believe it? I was going to say that you don't get too many opportunities against Rafter. You have to take those short forehands, and there you go, slightly miss hit. Return floated high. Rafter couldn't reach it. Even and is it in? Yes, it's in. Two. Third set. Ivanisevic went on to take the third set 6-3. We rejoin the match in the fourth. The crowd is serving at 2-3. Quiet, please. Thank you. So no breaks yet in this set. 2-3. Fifteen. 
just shows you how important it is when you get a second serve chance as Rafa did that first point you've got to make the return because you know Goran's going to serve one or two aces a game He's had a, only a couple of opportunities to run down a drop shot. Goran's had plenty of them, and that's the shot to do, is to try and hit the lob. To try and angle there. When the other person is really on top of the, uh, the net, and you don't have an angle yourself, it's almost impossible. Maybe Goran will learn from that point. says it all he mistimed it good second serve he missed the shot and just screamed no he knows those second serves are so important a pretty tense volley it's the crowd atmosphere that's but the atmosphere that it's just boosted it's incredible and all of a sudden it feels like Goran's serving for the match and he's not really he's brought the tension home to him gives Rafter a chance now that enormous serve and it's good when it's over the net high we have to try the right thing try to chip it down low even is it it's just so hard to control a serve like that you're lucky to get one out of two anywhere near down Reminiscent of the, the point in the uh, second set, and got that return to serve down wide, and then made the passing shot.
walked on. First footfold. What a time for that to happen. Thank you. So, a severe test of his mental equilibrium. Thank you. Rafter then served out to take the fourth set 6-4. Even Izovic looked rattled, but both men were able to compose themselves in the final set. We joined that at seven games all. that after those two drop Pitch volleys, off. Goran had moved forward then to expect another one. Rafa pushed it deep. Great tactics. Body serve wasn't quite as good as some of the other ones we've seen. 15 30. Ivanisovic able to get out of the way. serve like that just to watch the ball zip past right across 15, the front of him. 40. Two virtual match points. Thank you. Quiet please. said from the start 
that he felt that this was going to be his year. God, we thought, was going to give him a fourth chance to show just what he could do. Does he have the Five ultimate minutes. belief to seize the moment? It was going out. Well, that was one of those horrible Number shots. 15. You're not sure whether to hit. Is it if you leave it, is it going to go in? You've got to hit it Thank you. if you're not sure, and he's missed it. Surprised at all. Surprised he can stand up at all. His legs must be like jelly at the moment. 15, said yesterday his racket felt like about 10 pounds. But it feels, feels more like 110. Thank you. Just keeps going for that. That's a towel. Well, that was a second survey at 116 miles an hour at 15:30. Can you believe it? Well, with Gore, I can believe anything. 30 all. quickly thank you quiet please championship point can do other than try and scrape this one of these balls back Thank make you. him play Quiet, please. Second time, then Thank you. it's championship point. Thank you. Oh, 
And one can only guess at the turmoil raging in the mind of Goran Ivanisevic at this moment. This is just unbelievably stressful for everybody watching. I can't imagine what it would be like inside Goran's head. Thank you. Quiet, please. Quiet, please. Thank you. He's preying on the point where the ball landed a and millimeter outside the sideline. Uh, shake his arm loose. It's that 110 pound racket he's got. <laughs> For the third time, then. Quiet, please. Championship point. Thank you, gentlemen, please. He kissed the ball. Thank you. Telling you, you don't get more than three or four chances. Advantage of Anisovic. Taking his time, Goran taking the towel. Thank you. A fourth chance. The waiting is over. We have a new Wimbledon champion. A man who four times now has attempted to scale the ultimate heights. And at last, he does it. Remarkable scenes on centre court as Goran Ivanisevic became the first wild card in the history of the championships to win the men's singles title. For both players, this was to be a last appearance in a Grand Slam final. What a way to bow out. Pat Rafter retired in 2002 and Goran Ivanisevic in 2004. Nine years after the first of his three final defeats, the Croatian had finally become Wimbledon champion. his dream or not if I'm gonna wake up and then somebody's gonna tell me you didn't win Wimbledon again you know to serve for the match suddenly I have a match point out of nowhere you know I came here you know, nobody even talked about me and now I'm holding this trophy and it's, it's just uh, this support today was like uh, I mean I was uh, three times in the final but this is this is just uh, unbelievable this is too good thank you guys for everything and uh, I would like to thank a couple of people also, my father, I know, I mean, if I lose today, I think your heart will definitely <laughs> explode, but so I have to be careful, thanks, Dad. The 2001 Wimbledon final wasn't just a classic match. For Goran Ivanisevic, it was, at last, a dream come true.